Rebel, did you know that you can actually lose weight without diet and crazy exercise programs? Well, I'm gonna show you how today. I lost 15 pounds just from tapping. And that was because of the stress and the negative thought patterns that were keeping me stuck. And this is possible for you too. So when we fix what's going on internally and we change the dialogue that's making us sick, we allow our body to do what it's naturally meant to do. You don't have to do any crazy restrictive diets or exercise programs to allow your body to just return to homeostasis and where it feels comfortable. I bet you didn't know that when your body has a lot of stress running through it, we have increased level of cortisol, which increases your blood sugar levels, which down regulates your metabolism and how you're able to actually process the food that you're eating. It increases sugar cravings, it increases fat storage in the body, and this all comes from just stress. And the thing here is that when we have negative thoughts about our body and we hold those belief systems, they actually activate a part of our brain, our emotional response center in the brain that sends more of that stress response and the cortisol through our body. So by actually working through our feelings, our negative thoughts about our body, we actually take control and reduce the cortisol levels in the bloodstream. We increase our metabolism. We increase our body's natural ability to just lose weight and let it go. And we actually allow ourselves to decrease those sugar cravings and those cravings that we have that help us engage in self-sabotaging behaviors. And we actually allow ourselves to just naturally shed weight to a point that makes sense for your body. So in this exercise, I'm going to teach you exactly how, and you're going to learn a technique that will support you to feel so much more confidence, decrease the stress, and allow and support your body to start losing weight very naturally in a very healthy way. I can't wait for you to try this out. For the best tools and tips on how to step into more confidence, not only in your body, but in every single area of your life, you can hit that subscribe bell and be notified every Thursday when I post new videos for you. As a reminder, please take personal responsibility throughout this exercise. Emotions may come up and please reach out for the individual support that you may need. Let's start with the test. I'd love for you to ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, how unhappy are you with your body right now? Okay, and just note if that is feeling really high or if it's feeling low today and just jotting that down. And we'll track that as we progress through our tapping so that you can see and feel the change. Starting to tap on the side of the hand even though I feel so unhappy with how my body looks. And I feel so uncomfortable in my own skin. I love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though I feel so unhappy with my body. I have so much anxiety about my body. And it's really consuming me. I love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though I'm feeling all this negativity towards my body and it doesn't feel possible to let it go. It doesn't feel safe to let it go. I love and accept myself anyways. I'm so unhappy with my body. It doesn't feel possible to let that go because I'm so unhappy with the way I look and the way I feel. I'm so uncomfortable in my own skin. Is it even possible for this to change? All this negativity that I feel towards my body, it's affecting other areas of my life. But I don't know if I can let that go yet. So just taking a nice clearing breath, <sighs> shaking out some of that energy and tuning in on a scale of one to 10, how true does it feel for you that you're unhappy with your body right now? And notice if that number has changed. 
and let's go into our second round. Even though I still feel all of this unhappiness towards my body. Part of me feels so much anxiety about my body and how it looks. I choose to love and accept that part of me anyways. Even though part of me still has so much anxiety about my body and is so unhappy with how my body looks. I love, accept, and forgive that part of me. Even though I've carried these feelings towards my body for such a long time, I don't know if it's possible to feel any different. I don't know if I deserve to feel any different. I love and accept myself. All these feelings of negativity towards my body. Part of me is still really unhappy with how my body looks. I don't know if it's possible to change that. I don't know if I deserve to feel happy about my body. I don't know if I'm willing to feel more love towards my body. I don't know that it's safe for me to feel more acceptance towards my body. I don't know that it's possible for me to even feel more acceptance towards my body. It's possible for others, but it doesn't feel possible for me. I don't deserve to feel better about my body. I'm not willing to see my body with more love and acceptance. I don't deserve to feel more love and acceptance towards my body. It's not safe for me to release these feelings of negativity towards my body. It's not possible for me to release these feelings of negativity towards my body. You just can't make me. It's safer if I stay with these feelings forever. I'm not willing to release these feelings towards my body. So just taking a little breath there, clearing out the energy and noticing on a scale of one to 10, how true does it feel for you to say, I am not happy with my body or I'm unhappy with my body, the way my body looks. And likely as we've done some of that psychological reversal tapping, you will feel some of the energy start to move where a different part of you is starting to speak up. And that's the part of you that we wanna to continue to really honor, celebrate and grow because that part of you is going to really decrease the stress and those negative thought patterns in your mind and help you to feel more love, acceptance towards your body, which will in turn help you naturally lose weight. And most importantly, feel that relationship that you truly want with your body. So let's bring more of that energy into this round here. So even though there is a part of me that still has negative feelings towards my body, there's this other part of me who feels that it is possible for me to start loving and accepting my body. Even though there's a part of me who's still really stuck on hating my body. There's this other part of me coming forward that chooses to have loving 
and kind words towards my body. And I love and accept both these parts of me. Even though there's a part of me that still feels some negativity towards my body and the way I look. There's this other part of me coming forward who chooses to bring more love, compassion, and forgiveness towards my body. Part of me still feels this negativity towards my body. There's a part of me who's still having a really hard time giving that up. But there's this other part of me coming forward that has more love and kindness for my body. This part of me knows I can have a different relationship with my body. This part of me knows that I'm healing my body right now. This part of me is welcoming in more love, acceptance for my body. This part of me has more kindness and love towards my body. And I want to encourage more of that part of me to grow. I'm creating more space for that loving part of me to come forward. And to start showing me step by step how I can continue to have more compassion, more forgiveness, more love and acceptance for my body. And I'm excited to see that part of me continue to grow. So I forgive myself for the words that I've said to my body and the stress that I've put on my body. And I'm opening the path and the door for that kind and loving part of me to continue to grow and lead the way forward because I deserve that. Gently taking a clearing breath and just noticing on a scale of one to 10, how unhappy do you feel with your body right now? And hopefully that number has changed significantly in this exercise. And trust me, as you continue to repeat this exercise and we really heal those thought patterns in your mind, you are not only going to completely change and transform the relationship you have with your body, but yourself. And in doing so will allow your body to naturally lose weight because you are releasing stress from those thought patterns that have been keeping you stuck. So I am so excited to hear how it goes. Please share in the comments below how this exercise went for you. Now you know what to do when that voice of negativity starts coming in again about your body image and you have a direct tool to support you in rewiring those patterns so that you can develop more confidence, love and acceptance with your body and help your body naturally lose weight and come back to its homeostasis and its place that it wants to be. So what happens when your inner critic starts coming back and running the show again in different parts of your life? Well, I've got a free video course for you down below. It is a three part series. It's amazing. It will help you overcome your inner critic to stop self-sabotage. It will help you rewire your limiting beliefs, all the things that get in the way of shining our true light and being our most confident self. So you can grab that right below. And if you want even more tools, techniques, and more direct support, then you can join an amazing community on Facebook where I will share everything you need to support you to take your relationship with yourself to the next level and experience the confidence you truly deserve in every area of your life, not just your body image. So I can't wait to see you in the Facebook group down below. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and share it with someone you love that you know could really benefit from this because together we can make such a huge impact. There are some other videos here that I think you would love that will really support you to step even further into your confidence. And I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye.